When money's no object, the rich and famous tend to buy huge houses and big cars to go with them. But in the security world, when money's no object, people tend to buy this. This is an 8 megapixel 4K color view camera from Hitvision and it costs over 200 quid new. Today, we're gonna do an unboxing and I'll get it outside in our test rig. We'll capture some day and night footage and at the end of the video, I'll do a full comparison to find out, is this camera really the creme de la creme of CCTV? Let's get started. CCTV has been around for a little minute. Everyone from your nosy neighbor to your high-flying businessman has stuck security cameras outside their house to protect what's rightfully theirs. But just like all technology, it's seen evolution. Long gone are the 720p grainy images you used to see on Crime Watch. Fast forward to today and we've got 4K CCTV. And this is Cake Vision's latest offering. As I've said, it's a 8 megapixel 4K color view camera. And getting it out of the box, you'll find... <laughs> A fairly chunky but mostly metal turret camera. I picked up ours in black but they do come in white as well and it also includes a inbuilt microphone and speaker if you go for the ISU model. Now a 4k colour view actually isn't anything new. There was a previous generation of this camera but Hitvision have revised this as well as this camera's little brother the 4 megapixel colour view. I reviewed that recently in our last video, hit the pop out banner if you want to see that. But just like the 4 megapixel, it's now gone hybrid, which means you get an infrared and a colour view camera all encased into one. Hikvision used to make what they call a dark fighter, which is an infrared camera that does low light situations really, really well. And they made separate colour view cameras, which were great at capturing full colour images throughout the day and throughout the night but now they've encapsulated everything into one camera. And my mission for this video is to find out, is it any good? What I'll do is I'll get it installed on our test rig and I'll check back with you guys when I've got some footage. Installing this camera is pretty straightforward. I just need to take off the backing plate that the camera itself mounts to. You could do this using the T10 or T20 Torx bit that's provided in the box. Once that's undone and the clip's fallen away, you can just separate the base and the camera itself and then installing it. It's just a case of doing that in reverse, so mount the base. In this case, we're mounting it to a waterproof box outside, but you wouldn't do this on any normal property. Slide all the cables back into the base and clip the camera into position. And tighten it down with T10 or T20 Torx bit that again was provided in the box. Position the camera how you need it to, and don't forget to remove the film off the camera lens. If you enjoy this type of content where we do camera reviews and get stuck into the latest and greatest technology, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell icon so you get notified about our latest videos. So we've looked at the camera and we've got the footage. Just before I review it, let's just recap some of these camera's features. This camera comes with tons of features. And to list them all, I could probably do a full 10 minute video. But just to recap on a few that I think are important and kicking it off that list is the microphones. Whether you go for the upgraded ISU model or just the standard, you get a microphone out of the box, which adds a great extra layer to your surveillance. As I mentioned, it also comes with an inbuilt speaker if you go for that upgraded model. Now the speaker can play out a pre-recorded message which is built into the camera or you can record and upload your own. So should a motion event be triggered, the camera can be set to play a message that tells them they're being recorded from one to 10 times back to back. The speaker also allows you to use the camera a bit like an intercom. So for example, you can set an event so if somebody walks up to your front door, you get a ping on your phone and using the Hit Connect app, you can talk back through the camera to the person at your door and you can hear them through the microphone. In theory, it sounds really good, but in practice, we've actually had issues with it on install. If the environment around the camera is too noisy and there's too much noise pollution being absorbed by the microphone, or the speaker doesn't go loud enough to drown out that noise pollution, it can cause some issues. The second feature which I like the most is the events. Now notifications have come a long way on CCTV, but this camera packs a whole host of events that you can set up. So intrusion detection, line crossing detection, and many, many more, and they will send notifications to your app should that event be triggered. 
You can also dial it right down so that the camera is dead specific about whether it triggers for a human or a vehicle, which should hopefully drown out most of your false positives. The final feature which I like the most is got to be the hybrid infrared light. I had a play about with this when it was on our test rig and I found it really good. It means that the inbuilt LED light doesn't have to be on permanently. You can set the camera to stay in infrared mode until it detects movement. Once it detects movement, it will click over into its colour view mode, meaning that the white light or the supplement light doesn't have to be on throughout all of the night, which is a great feature and some of the feedback we've had from customers would really benefit from that. But how does this camera perform in the real world? Well, I've exported some footage off of our MVR, and if I pull it up, you can see just how far CCTV has come. Everything looks really crisp, colours look really good, the reds look really red, and the blues look really blue, which is great, and everything transitions through the image really well. All CCTV and lower quality CCTV tends to suffer with stuttering and that's the frames per second. It's how smooth an object transitions and moves through a video. I'll come onto this in a later video, but frames per second is what makes CCTV good. Megapixels tends to sell cameras. I did a little test of my own where I stood at 15, 25, and 45 meters holding a number plate. At 15, I'm really clear, but I really start to drop off at 25, and certainly at 45, you can barely make out the letters on the board that I'm holding. If I whiz that footage on and we take a look at the ones that I captured from the night, you can see that the camera has stayed in a full colour image. Everything is just as smooth as it was, we've just lost that ambient light that's around it from daylight. The great thing about colour views is it means that objects are easily identifiable by colour. It gives you another dimension almost to identifying things. So cars that are dark blue are dark blue on colour views but on infrared cameras just look black. I ran the same test again at night and had very, very similar results. At 15 meters, everything's really clear, but at 25 meters, it really starts to fall away, and 45 meters, it's barely even recognizable what the object is. But you've got to remember, 45 meters is a hell of a long way for a CCTV camera to see. The main issue we've got with the test rig at the front of our shop is that there's a lot of ambient lighting around us. Street lighting, cars, and other businesses that surround us all add to the light that spills over onto our camera and gives it a boost. So to really see how this camera performs, I moved it over to the back of our shot where there is nearly zero ambient lighting. And you can see that the camera performs really, really well. The inbuilt LED has obviously come on to give the camera a boost of light and means that it can see quite far down that alleyway. Obviously the further down the alleyway we look, the more that that light level drops away and the darker and darker it gets. I ran the same test again with similar results. This time I was stood a little bit closer to the camera at probably around 10 meters. Now I did have an issue with the LED light reflecting off the number plate and completely blinding the camera. I tried to alter this through some of the settings but unfortunately couldn't really get it to a position where I was 100% happy and I just found that tilting the number plate made a little bit of a difference. So that's something to bear in mind in real life scenarios. But unfortunately, anything over 10 meters down this alleyway at night is near enough unreadable on that license plate. The object itself is recognizable as a human, but if you're going for something that can read number plates, Hikvision make specific AMPR cameras for this purpose. Well, that's it. Our review of the eight megapixel 4K hybrid color view from Hikvision. I hope you found this review helpful. Would you pay 200 quid for this camera? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next video.